हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सुपर कंडक्टिविटी इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इफेक्ट्स ऑफ मॉडर्न फिजिक्स सुपर कंडक्टिविटी इज लाइक सुपरमैन फॉर कंडक्टर्स द फिनोमिन ऑफ सडन डिसअपियरेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल रेजिस्टिविटी इन मटेरियल्स वेन कूल्ड टू सफिशेंटली लो टेम्परेचर्स इज कॉल्ड एज सुपर कंडक्टिविटी द मटेरियल्स दैट एग्जिबिट सुपर कंडक्टिविटी and which are in superconducting state are called as superconductors this phenomenon was first observed by kemmerling onnes in 1911 when he was measuring the resistivity of mercury at low temperatures as can be seen in this graph when temperature is taken on x axis and electrical resistance on y axis and normal metals when temperature is reduced their resistivity decreases but in superconductors with the decrease in the temperature at a certain temperature called as critical temperature the resistance drops suddenly and it reduces to zero this is the photograph of scientist kemmerling onnes zero electrical resistance the phenomenon of exhibiting zero electrical resistance by certain material when cooled to a very low temperature called as critical temperature they show zero electrical resistance the effect of magnetic field on superconductors in the superconducting state a material possesses zero electrical resistance and behaves as perfectly diamagnetic material below critical temperature if sufficiently strong magnetic field is applied the superconducting property of the material is destroyed and the material reverts back to its normal state the minimum field required to destroy the superconducting property is known as critical magnetic field the magnetic field at which the material super the materials superconducting property disappears is called as super as critical magnetic field when the superconducting materials are subjected to a strong magnetic field it will result in the destruction of superconducting property that is they return to normal state the minimum field required to destroy the superconducting property is called the critical field labeled as hc the variation of hc with temperature is shown in this graph where in the region below hc and below tc material remains in the superconducting state above the critical temperature the material returns to normal state and above the critical field also material returns to normal state effect of temperature on superconductivity in the superconducting state a material possesses zero electrical resistance and behaves as a diamagnetic material this superconducting state is maintained at sufficiently low temperatures above critical temperature tc the superconducting property of the material is destroyed and the material reverts to its normal state this transition temperature is the critical temperature at which the resistivity of the material suddenly changes to zero the temperature at which the normal conductor loses its resistivity and becomes superconductor is known as transition temperature or critical temperature meissner effect when a weak magnetic field is applied to a superconducting specimen at a temperature below transition temperature the magnetic flux lines are expelled from it the specimen acts as an ideal diamagnet this effect is called as meissner effect as can be seen in the temperature range above the critical temperature the material is in normal magnetic state and the magnetic field lines passes through it but in the superconducting state when the critical temperature is achieved and it is shown in this diagram that the material behaves as a perfect diamagnet and magnetic field of lines are bent and do not pass through the specimen and magnetic field inside the specimen is zero there are two types type 1 and type 2 superconductors type 1 superconductors 
The change from superconducting state to normal state takes place suddenly at critical magnetic field. They exhibit complete Meissner effect. Type 1 superconductors have only one critical magnetic field. They are known as soft superconductors because the field required to destroy the superconductivity is small. There are no mixed state present and as can be seen in this graph, the transition from superconducting state to normal state occurs sharply and completely at critical temperature Hc. In type 2 superconductors, the change from superconducting state to normal state is gradual in the field range Hc1 to Hc2. Type 2 superconductors do not exhibit complete Meissner effect. They have two critical magnetic fields. They are known as hard superconductors because the field required to destroy the superconductivity is high. There are mixed state present and as can be seen in this graph from this HC1 to HC2 it is a mixed state and superconductivity starts losing its effect from HC1 but the complete normal state is achieved at HC2. The explanation of superconductivity was firstly given by Bardin, Cooper and Scherifer. In the theory, they said that <coughs> there are electrons which forms pairs and now we will switch to this side. As can be seen in this animation, Cooper pair formation. In order to understand how electrons remain in a pair state, we will see the interaction between the electron and the lattice. This is the electron and this is the lattice where these are the positive ions. When electron passes through this lattice of positive ions, it keeps attracting the positive ions. An electron moves through the positively charged ion core of the lattice it attracts them and causes the destruction, uh, distortion. Now if we see this, when electron approaches to positive ions, the distortion of lattice ions causes a local area to gain a small net positive charge. This positive charge attracts one more electron and the <coughs> electron gets close to the the earlier electron. This attraction can overcome the repulsive coulombic force and create binding between the two electrons. And these two electrons remains in the bound state and moves through the lattice as a single entity and the pair of the electrons is known as Cooper pairs. Applications of superconductivity SQUID is an acronym for Superconducting Quantum Interface Device. It is a weak ultra-sensitive measurement device used for detection of very weak magnetic field in the order of 10 to the power minus 14 Tesla. The squids are being used for the detection to perform magnetic resonance imaging MRI. The other uses of squid are in oil prospecting, mineral exploration, earthquake prediction. Magnetic levitation. The magnetic levitation is based on the magnetic property of the superconductor which is rejection of magnetic flux lines. This effect, as you can recall, is also known as Meissner effect. The superconductor can be suspended in air against the repulsive force from a permanent magnet. This magnetic levitation effect can be used for high speed transportation without frictional loss. Superconductivity is used for the production of high magnetic fields. Superconductivity is used in nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy commonly known as NMR imaging. Superconductivity is used in magnetic separation of refining ores and chemicals. Superconductivity is used as memory storage element in computers. Superconductivity is used in superconducting fuses, switches and cables. 
energy could be stored in superconducting coils for a long period of time without significant loss. For this video, we have taken the references as a textbook of engineering physics, M. N. Avadhanalu and P. J. C. Sagar. The diagrams, the images of Meissner effect and the photograph of scientist Hake Kemmerlingunis are taken from Wikimedia Commons. Copper, Cooper pair flash animation is taken from the website www.doitpoms.ac.uk. Solid state physics, Yesu Pillai, and engineering physics by Dr. M. P. Ghatode, B. G. Toksha, and Professor P. M. Gondkar from the TechMax publication. I request all of you to go through the video to refer the notes and then take a quiz and the reflection quiz. Thank you.